Good morning. It's Thursday, August 5th of 2021. And this is Platte River State Park in Nebraska. Located about halfway between Omaha and Lincoln. And it's one of the nicer state parks in the area. And the topic for this video, humble in thy sight. Starting off in Romans 2, 11, where there is no respect of persons with God. Looking at Romans 12, verse 3, for I say, through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think but to think soberly according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith Taking a look at 1 Peter 5. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of ye be subject to one another. And be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your cares upon him, for he careth for you, even as some people, even some preachers are all wrapped up in materialism. And prosperity gospel although we know faith believing that God will meet our needs when we trust in him and we're to be thankful for all the many blessings he provides and not worry about keeping up with the Joneses as God resisteth the proud, but gives grace to the humble. And he meets our every need. Looking at Proverbs 11 and verse two. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. The integrity of the upright shall guide them. But the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. And looking at verse 6, the righteousness of the upright shall deliver them, but transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness. When a wicked man dieth, his expectation shall perish, and the hope of the unjust man perisheth. The righteous is delivered out of trouble, and the wicked cometh in his stead. A hip 
hypocrite. With his mouth destroyeth his neighbor. But through knowledge shall the just be delivered. That's a reminder of the saying about how some people like to dish it out, but they can't take a dose of their own medicine. Some people try to build themselves up by stepping on other people and they don't care who they hurt. And we're definitely not to be like that. Picking up in verse 11. By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted, but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. He that is void of wisdom despiseth his neighbor. But a man of understanding holdeth his peace. A tailbearer revealeth secrets, but he that is of a faithful spirit concealeth the matter. Where no counsel is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. And by the way, this is Jenny Newman Lake here at Platte River State Park. And I just walked through a spider web. And now picking up in Proverbs 11:17, The merciful man doeth good to his own soul, but he that is cruel troubleth his own flesh. The wicked worketh a deceitful work. But to him that soweth righteousness shall be a sure reward. As righteousness tendeth to life, so he that pursueth evil pursueth it to his own death. For they that are of a forward heart are an abomination to the Lord. But such as are upright in their way are his delight. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. And way too often in this fast paced world, we're often pressured to get things done the quickest way even taking shortcuts to see who can be most efficient in this dog-eat-dog -dog world and sometimes this can lead many to being boastful with that better than you attitude which can damage and destroy relationships with rude and selfish intimidation However, we're to seek to be a more effective witness by reflecting the love 
of Jesus Christ. And now turning to Philippians chapter 2. As we begin in verse 1. If there be any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbleth himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should Confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. And now taking a look at Proverbs 16, starting in verse 17. The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He that keepeth his way preserveth his soul. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Better it is to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. He that handleth the matter wisely shall find good, and whoso trusteth in the Lord, happy is he. The wise in heart shall be called prudent, and the sweetness of the lips increaseth learning. Understanding is a wellspring of life, and unto him that hath it, but the instruction of fools is folly. And as we realize, it's natural to be upset when someone mistreats us. But think of all that Jesus Christ went through for us. We're to be forgiving of others, especially so that we ourselves can be forgiven. Our focus is to be following Jesus Christ 
in our walk. Even knowing that many things that happen in this world are unjust and often what goes around comes around but we'll leave that in God's hands as we're to seek to be an effective witness and now turning to Ephesians 2 starting in verse 8 for by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourselves it is the gift of God not of works lest any men boast for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus under good works which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them And now we're coming into the Stone Creek Falls area. And this is Stone Creek. This is Obviously, Stone Creek, a tributary of Platte River. My kids like to play in this creek when they were a little younger. And let's take a look at Ephesians 4. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers and grieve not the Holy Spirit whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice and be kind one to another tender hearted forgiving one another even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you Looking at Galatians 6 and verse 3. For if any man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. And then Isaiah 13 11. And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So we all know people who can be unnerving at times, but we're still to focus on our walk with Jesus Christ, knowing that he places high value on characteristics such as humbleness, mercy, and forgiveness. And now taking a look at James 4, starting in verse 3. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, 
that you may consume it upon your own lust. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Do you think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us Lusteth to envy? But he giveth more grace. Wherefore, he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace to the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God. And he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double minded. Be afflicted and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter return to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. And as the scripture talks about the double-minded, and how the double-minded are unstable in all their ways, and as verse 10 pointed out, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. And now taking a look at Romans 3, and verse 23, for all sinned and come short of the glory of God. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. And there's a train going by. You might be able to hear it in the background. So we take a look at 2 Chronicles 7 and verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land And over here you can see Platte River a little bit through the trees. The railroad is just this side of the river. And even though we're very obviously well into the end times, especially as we see that day approaching and which the believers will be caught up those who are ready for the dead in Christ shall rise first and we which are alive and remain to be caught up in the air to be changed and so shall we ever be with the Lord and for whatever time even the very very short time between now and then we're to draw nearer to him 
and be a, an effective witness and be encouraging each other. Being humble in thy sight.